a website makes it real. This is a tagline we live by and share with our clients at Composition. I've had many iterations of my website and web domain over the years. KirkNugent.me, KirkNugentSpeaks.com, and now, of course, KirkRNugent.com. The previous two were both built on WordPress, which is our platform of choice for our client website projects. At the time, I had a different focus, mainly public speaking and thought leadership in the technology space. But after taking the plunge into content creation full time, my needs list exploded. Growing mailing lists, I had to spin up landing pages for various projects and to sell different products, both digital and physical, like a masterclass that later turned into a course. But I still needed to easily maintain an eye catching website and blog. After a targeted search for a website backend that would meet all my criteria and truly serve as an additional member of my team, we chose Kajabi. And in this video, I'll share five reasons I moved from WordPress to Kajabi as a content creator. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at five reasons I moved from WordPress to Kajabi as a content creator. And we'll share the specific criteria I used to select a platform to build our headquarters on the World Wide Web. <laughs> reason number one. First reason was an integrated mailing list. The WordPress methodology of installing a plugin for everything was tired and old for me. I was using MailChimp uh, before the Intuit acquisition and wanted something that was integrated, transparent to my audience and didn't require an additional login. For many, this might be yeah, it's just not not your story, I guess. I am admittedly not an email expert by any stretch, but I understand its importance to get people to the right place at the right time to make a decision. And that actually brings me to reason number two. My second reason is actually landing pages. A landing page is a standalone web page that a person lands on after clicking through from an email ad or other digital location. Once they're on your landing page, users are encouraged to take an action such as joining your list or buying your other products. This part is circular in that the mailing list can lead to a landing page and or the landing page can get people to join your list. WordPress has many options here, but I wanted something dedicated and specific to my workflow. As a content creator focused on visual learners, landing pages would also serve me well for things I needed to sell. My third reason, reason number three, is just that, <laughs> the ability to sell products. I wanted to sell things directly from the page. No plugins, no gymnastics, or piecing it all together. Ebook for sale, no problem. One-on-one -on -one coaching, let's go. Mastermind group, go for it. Live stream graphics packages, yes, this was a stretch, but Kajabi gave me a framework where I could make it work, and WordPress, while awesome, simply didn't. I'll also add that I wanted to be able to track the sales easily, access the cash, and get some basic analytics. And Kajabi actually has robust analytics, which more than checked all those boxes. Reason number four, my fourth reason is of course, course content. I knew immediately as I was putting out series of how-to videos on YouTube that these could absolutely work for course content. WordPress simply isn't in this arena. So it's actually a bit of an unfair comparison, but I will say I'd looked at other platforms like Podia, Thinkific, Kartra, and others that are probably better comparisons to Kajabi as they are also course platforms. Maybe in another video, I'll share why I chose Kajabi over those platforms. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Number five, reason number five, my final reason, is the main website and blog management. I know most of you are thinking this is where WordPress has the upper hand and you would be correct, fam. WordPress does web and blog like no one else. Kajabi's web and blog are functional, definitely not better than WordPress, 
But my focus here was that it was to be simple to manage, which Kajabi definitely provides. And because they check so many other boxes, the decision to switch was overwhelmingly obvious. And that's it. <laughs> Those are my five reasons. But as promised, let me give you the fuller criteria I used in order of importance. So let's go through that checklist. Number one, ability to sell. Digital assets, services, coaching, funnels, pipelines, taking subscribers on a journey toward clicking purchase. Number two, landing pages, singular focus, dedicated web spaces that I can spin up and shut down quickly. Number three, course content, y'all, uninterrupted, in-depth learning experiences with outcomes and metrics. Number four, the king, mailing list. Uh, your newsletter, your announcements, your giveaways, uh, highlighting YouTube videos, or even your live show, literally all of the things. Number five, membership. For Kajabi, it's app-based, but this allows for one-to-many incentive programs. This wasn't a major one for me at first, but it's definitely one for me now. Number six, main website and blog, eye-catching templates that are easy to set up, update, and maintain. Number seven, my final one, podcast hosting. I love that they have this because it sends to Apple, Google, and Spotify. It's one less system I have to log in and manage. But the reason I have this in my criteria list is because it's an example of Kajabi continuing to innovate and provide features specific to the content creator. A web presence that is designed with the content creator in mind, a community where I can be assisted with setting it all up a company that is committed to this space and rolling out additional relevant features along with a track record of creators who have used the platform to achieve their goals. That's why I chose Kajabi. And if you want to give it a try for yourself, use the link in the description to get a free trial. Learn more about its functions and features in these videos.